playing against Kenya will win. You've got two weeks off now. Some of the areas that you identified you still need to work on? Yeah, we are going to work more on our defence. I think we considered so many penalties on our defence. So we are going to work more on our defence. I think everything okay, everything was all right. The scrums and the lineups were okay, but the defence was a bit shady. You also you have so much speed out wide, but you struggle to get the ball out to your wings and definitely an area that you also need to address to try and get that back line in full motion. Yeah, I think um, our wingers didn't get much ball because we're always uh, kicking our position. I think uh, coming to the next game, we need to retain position so that we play well and we get the tries going. So uh, hard luck uh, today and, and good luck with the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Now we're going to be chatting with the losing coach, uh, John Duncan, losing coach of y Uganda. So, uh, John, unfortunately, uh, today things not going your way. Where did it all, all go wrong? Yeah, look, I think uh, maybe I played particularly well and uh, got off to a good start. We seem to be chasing the game and uh, made a lot of unforced errors. What areas did you identify that you still need to work on in this two-week uh, period that you have off? Yeah, look, I mean, we obviously gutted. We set higher expectations for ourselves. Uh, there are quite a few areas that we need to work on, but... Uh, I know these guys, they'll bounce back. We need to bounce back if we want to be serious contenders. So, it's, unfortunately, you had a tough opening game against the Namibian side, but it's all not lost, still four games left in the competition. Do you think you can bounce back? Yeah, look, I mean, sport is all about bouncing back and it's about showing your character. And uh, these guys do have character and um, we back them 100%. We need to tidy up some things and some areas we need to work on, but uh, all is not lost. You know, the final game will decide who's going where. Hard luck today and good luck with the rest of the tournament. Thanks. So now we will be chatting to the victorious captain, Jan Dessel. Uh, first opportunity for you to lead the side out and uh, you couldn't have asked for a better start to your captaincy. Yeah, what an opportunity it was. Um, we had a great game. Thanks to my team and, and all the guys that, that had a great performance. So where do you think it all went right? You spent a lot of time in the off-season and the pre-season working on things, but today it all just seemed to click. Yeah, we, we had a good game. I think there's still a lot of work to be done, but um, I think we'll take the five points out of this one and, uh, and look forward to the next one. Next weekend you're back here against uh, Tunisia and then you'll be away to Morocco. What are those things that you still need to work on heading into the rest of this tournament? Well, I just think we need to be a bit more clinical at stages, but, but further from that, I think we had a good game and we have to keep building on the momentum. Also a very nice crowd here in Vintuk and uh, that certainly adds as that, uh, that 16th man factor as well. Yeah, obviously it's always nice to play in front of the home crowd on the Agi, so yeah, thanks for everyone that came out and supported us. Finally, just a word on Cristiano Buerza playing in his 50th game, getting a try as well. He's been inspirational for Namibia. Yeah, always great to have experience at the back. Um, congratulations to him. 50 caps doesn't come every day, so yeah, all the, all the best to him. Thank you very much. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. And now we will be chatting to Phil Davies, the victorious uh, coach of Namibia. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Phil, it's a, a great start to your campaign uh, today, a, a very convincing win. How did things go so right for you today? Well, we're happy, you know, with a win. Credit, you know, to Uganda. They, they kept playing, as we know they always do. But I was pleased for the players. Some of the things we did were very good. We haven't played for about eight months. So to get a run out, um, you know, on a performance like that, we're very, very pleased uh, to get the tournament off to a winning start. And then uh, you also still have a few big games coming up. Uh, you'll face some tougher competition later on as well. Some of those things that you still need to address? Oh, definitely. You know, the next big game is Tunisia. It's as simple as that. And uh, we'll, we'll work hard this week to try and rectify one or two little things to become a little bit more consistent uh, and accurate uh, with the ball. But, uh, yeah, the next one now is Tunisia. Thank you very much, Coach. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. And that's it from us here from Vintuk. Make sure that you stay tuned in to QSA Sports. Catch us again next weekend as we continue the Rugby Africa Gold Cup action.